Today's lesson is Lesson 3, Unknown Numbers in Addition. So here it wants us to find the value of m. So just as a reminder, the two numbers here are called add-ins. Okay? And the answer to addition problem is called the sum. Alright, so we're trying to figure out, well, one of the add-ins is missing. And when an add-in is missing, we know that 12 plus something equals 31. So to find the missing add-in, we will do the opposite of addition, which is subtraction. So we're going to do 31 minus 12. Okay. So I have to borrow from the 3. 1 becomes 11. 11 minus 2 is 9. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So m should equal 19. Now I can always double check by doing 12 plus 19 and see if the answer is 31. So 2 plus 9 is 11, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So my answer is correct. Okay, so here it wants us to find the value of n. Before I can find the missing number, I first have to add up all of the add-ins that I do know. Okay. So we would do 36 plus 17 plus 5, which equals 58. So I'd have 58 plus n equals 64. Right. So then to find the missing add-in, we would subtract 64 minus 58. So I have to borrow 14 minus 8 is 6, and 5 minus 5 is 0. So that means that n is equal to 6. Okay. And if I put that back in, I would find that it is correct. So in a subtraction problem, the number on top is called the minuend. And the number on the bottom is called the subtrahend. And then our answer is always called the difference. Okay. So in this problem, the minuend is missing. The first number. When the first number is missing, I will I can find the answer by adding. So I'm going to do 16 plus 24. Okay. So when the first number, the minuend, is missing, we add to find it. Okay. So 6 plus 4 is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4. So my answer is 40. Now I can check by doing 40 minus 16 to see if I get 24. So I borrow, 10 minus 6 is 4, 3 minus 1 is 2. So my answer is correct. So biggest thing to remember, when the first number is missing in a subtraction problem, you add to find it. Now in this one, the subtrahend or second number is missing. Okay. When the second number is missing, we subtract to find it. So I will do 236 minus 152. A good way to think about this is in a problem, a subtraction problem, the first number here has to be the biggest number. Otherwise, your answer would be a negative number. So that's why if the second number is missing, you have to have a smaller number than, the, than what we started with. So we subtract. So when the second number is missing, you subtract to find it. So we do 6 minus 2 is 4. Can't take 5 from 3, so we're going to borrow 13. 13 minus 5 is 8. So my answer is 84. And to check, I can do 236 minus 84 and see if I get 152. 6 minus 4 is 2 borrow. 
13 minus 8 is 5, and 1 minus nothing is 1. So my answer is correct. It's going to be 84. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.